everybody, welcome to Rebel Junk. My name is Erin. Today's unloved and unwanted junk comes to us from just a few sales on eBay and Poshmark. Real quick before we get into this, I just wanted to mention about 30% of my viewers have not subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy reseller content, so information about items that are selling on multiple platforms, a few instructional videos, and some thrifting hauls at garage sales, thrift stores, auctions, and some estate, estate sales, please consider subscribing below. So my sales this week have not been great, but last week was my best week ever. So comparatively, this week kind of stinks. But I also didn't list much. I kind of slacked off a little bit. I had some other priorities. And I tried to still have a presence on the platforms that I'm using. So I went in and did things like sending offers to buyers on eBay. If you end a listing on eBay, it gives you the options to relist it or sell similar. Sell similar seems to have a better bump in the algorithm than relisting. And that's just a theory, of course. So when an item is coming near to the end of its 30 day listing, I will go in and look at my listings and see what's getting ready to expire. If I still want to sell that item and I'm not ready to send it back to Goodwill, I will take the item, end it, and then sell similar. The nice thing is when you sell similar, you keep your photos, you keep all the information in the listing, you just have to scroll down and hit list. So that's one way to stay active on eBay if you aren't putting up new listings, making sure that you refresh the old ones. There is a function on Facebook Marketplace also that lets you kind of highlight your items that have been out there for seven days but maybe aren't getting attention. You can bump those up and I'll show you an example of that here. On Poshmark, you can go in and do what's called share your closet. So you can share individual items into the news feed. If they're having a posh party with a theme, of items that I have. I will also share my items into the Posh Party. On Mercari, in order to promote your item, you can either promote it in general or you can promote it to likers. If you do a general promotion, you have to lower your price at least 5%. So those are some ways to stay active if you don't have new listings to put up. So let's take a look at what actually sold while I had a fairly inactive week. Over on Poshmark, I had two sales. Next one was a set of party light, votive, or candlestick. So they were kind of, um, you could transform them to either or and they sold for $13 and I also earned $10 on that because the buyer paid shipping. Over to eBay. So I've been selling off these pieces of Origami Owl. I found a really good deal at a yard sale, $50 for a lot of new or open box pieces from Origami Owl. I'm way in the profit on this now. It was a really good buy for me. This piece here sold for $12.99 plus shipping and it was the Origami Owl window frame in silver with white rhinestones. Up next were these two little Minnie Mouse 100 Years of Disney celebration Tsum Tsums. So they're these tiny little plush animals. They just fit right in your hand. I bought them for a dollar each at my local Goodwill. All stuffed animals there are just a dollar and they sold for eight dollars plus shipping. I'm pretty sure I took a best offer on that one and I've just had these long enough. I was ready to let them go. I think when I picked them up, I expected to get about $20 for the both of them. So selling them at $8 after I've had them this long was just fine. <laughs> I was okay seeing them go. Up next, I had a set of Akcam sunflower glass bowls in the iridescent blue and green set. And they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This was an international sale, <laughs> international sale through the global shipping program. Okay, up next, this is my last piece piece of the Joe Spoon brass pieces that I had. It is the coffee scoop with the hanging hook. So I had three of them. Each piece has sold for $150, which has been awesome. So this piece, um, again, was the $150 sale. Buyer paid shipping, and I got that right out to them. Up next, I sold two boxes of Schumann Pilsner crystal glasses and these were new in the box. Both boxes were new. Altogether, the buyer paid $36.86 plus 
shipping for those. I think I must have paid just a couple dollars a box, maybe three dollars a box um, at Goodwill. Those were marked down in my discount sale that I'm running this week. Okay, so this one was really sweet. I had two sets of vintage gift boxes. One of them looked like Santa's and the other set was this one that you're seeing here with the houses. I had a customer message me and said, hey, we just we'd like to buy the houses but not the Santa's. Can you split up the lot? It would mean a lot to us. Uh, my mom and her sister have always exchanged gifts and boxes that look like these but one of them went missing last year we think it got thrown away with the wrapping paper and I said sure that was no problem I had listed um, originally for $28 for both of them so I said I'll just you know cut the price in half and make a new listing and so they did purchase this set of boxes for $14 plus shipping and they sent me a nice note so that was a good sale. I only had probably just maybe a dollar or two into these. They came in the large lot from the estate sale a couple videos back. <laughs> so I only had a couple dollars into this set of Winnie the Pooh children's silverware. They were silver plate from Oneida, uh, vintage probably from the 60s or 70s. And you could tell they had been polished. And so I did note that in the listing and they sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Okay, here's a good example of if you have it, just list it. See if somebody will buy it. Booklet came in a lot from an estate sale or an auction. I can't remember which one I even picked it up at, but I, again, probably just pennies into this one. So this book was kind of like, you could, it was like oily and grimy and dusty. <laughs> and I noted that in the listing. I said, this is, you know, it's been used. It's tattered on the bottom corner. I did list it as condition was acceptable because all of the information was still legible on the inside. There was writing on the inside. So I took pictures of that. And I, again, I noted all of that in the listing and it's still sold for $12.99 plus shipping. I, I debated for so long if I even wanted to list this item. So, you know, I'm probably profiting about $10 off of that. So it was definitely worth listing. It was just, you know, a couple pictures of a book. So that one was worth the effort. My last up, I cannot figure out where I got this item. I purchased it before I started making YouTube videos. So my guess is it either came from the large rummage sale that we went to at the beginning of summer over at a church in the next town over or from the local Humane Society sale that they had had also around the same time. I think those two sales were maybe just a week apart that I went to. So um, either way, I couldn't have paid more than five dollars for it. So this was a vintage Austin Productions Clara Seaver cat and it's called the Feline Study. I listed also in the listing the words doorstop because other people that had sold this item did list that also. However, I don't think this item was meant to be a doorstop. It did have a felt bottom and it's definitely a piece of art. It was very well done. It was really pretty. I, I would have liked to have kept it but Knowing the resale value, I went ahead and posted it for sale and it sold for $7.99 plus shipping uh, to California. So shipping on top of that was another $12. So I packaged this one up really well. It was heavy and uh, so I put a lot of little bubbles, big bubbles, paper in a, the sturdiest box that I had, honestly, that I could find in my uh, collection of boxes. So that one went out and was delivered safely and sold for a nice price. I was very happy with that. To have continued sales like that on a week where I was inactive, it's pretty good. I'll take it. <laughs> So thank you for watching. Um, let me know down in the comments, what do you do to stay active when you don't have new items to list? I'm, I'm curious if there's something I'm missing, something else I could have done. So I definitely have more items to list. I just didn't have any of the photographs on my phone. So thank you. I very much appreciate when you guys stop by and watch these videos. Please comment below. Let us know what you do to keep your accounts active when you don't have things to list. And until next time, take care.